Well, we're here today to appeal to everyone to join us at the Communities Against Culture Rally in Raider Square in Belfast at 1 o'clock this Saturday. And what we're saying is it's very, very important that as a community sector we come together, but not just the community sector. We want the ordinary people there, the people who are going to be affected, the people who care about it. We have uh, support from the trade unions. We're calling on local politicians to be there. And really, this is a chance for everyone in Belfast to come together, cross-community, cross-political. And really what we're saying is, you know, hands off the poor and stop these cuts. I think it's very important that all of the community come out on Saturday. I think with working in the community, we see the deprivation that's already happening within our society. I think people need to be aware of how hard hitting these cuts are going to be throughout. They're going to affect everyone, whether they're employed, unemployed, whatever benefits they're receiving. These cuts are going to have effect on the most poorest within our society. And it's for those reasons that I think that we all need to stand together. We all need to make the politicians see that the people that are already suffering have suffered enough and cannot financially afford to suffer anymore. These cuts are hitting everyone hard. They've already said in people are very worried about issues such as universal credits, housing benefit, how that's going to change, how it's going to affect people. That's the reasons why we all need to be there on Saturday and let these politicians see that these communities have had enough. The community organisations work with the people uh, who are going to be most affected by this. So we see it on a daily basis. And this is actually a very, uh, it's a very sad situation because what we're working with is people who are most vulnerable, who are most alienated, who are uh, the most isolated within the community and feel they're alone and feel they're going to be just uh, picked off in a sense that there'll be benefits, cuts to them, there'll be ba- cuts to the working poor. And what we're saying is, no, you're not on your own because we're going to stand with you. We're going to stand together. And as a community, we're going to fight this. And what we have done is we have garnered cross-community support for this. We've garnered support from the trade unions. We've garnered support from some politicians and some political parties. And what we're saying is, let's all stand together. But let's stand with the poor people, the most vulnerable, the most isolated. And let's stand with those because we're not going to accept them being bullied in the accepting cuts that certainly aren't their fault. We talk about the working poor. We talk about young women that are going out and maybe earning little above um, basic cost of living. People just can't afford to live like that any longer. They are talking then about maybe a bedroom tax is going to be imposed on them as well. So all these are real fears that are coming into local communities for people that are already being hit very, very hard. I know that there's statistics out there, but these statistics and figures boil down to bread and butter issues. So they do, they boil down to people, whether it's young families, whether it's senior citizens, it will be a case then of will we eat or will we heat? What will we lose? In England, for example, with the welfare cuts that have come in, we've already seen the disastrous consequence of that. We've already seen the disastrous impact that has had on families. And what we're saying is, for God's sake, learn a lesson. Let's look across there. Let's see that this policy just doesn't work. Let's find other ways of uh, making our economy thrive, but certainly uh, picking on the poorest of society, taking away from the poorest people in uh, the community is not the way to do it.